team is just in a tough spot right now, being two and nine. Really? So, <laughs> <That's> I, <an laughs> obvious. as we all know, the Lakers are struggling to play at the high standard they are expected to play at. From Russ. Oh my God! Day to day, Davis. Bruh. Lebron Jahamas. Are you serious right now? From top to bottom, anyway, you look at it, this team is just bad. So in today's video, I'm going over three ways the Lakers can get into title. Contention. Number one, trade for Kyrie. A lot of things have been going on with Kyrie, but I think it is possible the Lakers could get him. The Lakers would have to trade at least Russ and to first rounders to acquire him in a trade. I think it is very possible for the Lakers and Nets to settle on a trade because both teams are just going back and forth in the trade process. Here is a timeline between the Nets and Lakers trade requests to one another. Lebron has wanted Kyrie back on his team since Kyrie has left the Cavaliers. Lebron e even backed Kyrie on his anti-Semitic tweets just a week after LeBron James became the first NBA player to unequivocally condemn Kyrie Irving's decision to post a link to an anti-Semitic film on his Twitter account the Los Angeles Lakers star took to his own handle on the social media hell site to argue that Irving's punishment was a bit excessive. Kyrie responded saying, I don't know why LeBron said. Maybe he said it because he believes it and there is nothing else to it. I can tell you around the league, and even within the Lakers, some corners of it, those comments were read as Lebron, at least opening the door to hey, if you all are comfortable with it and all the blowback it would be, and the Nets are willing to just get out of the business now of Kyrie Irving so we can get him for much cheaper, not both picks, maybe one pick. Doris, I don't even know how to construct a Kyrie Irving trade right now for 9 million different reasons. Maybe he, laying the groundwork for maybe the Nets wave him and he never meets those conditions. Number two, Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. I know, I know. You guys have heard this a million times, but it is definitely a possibility. The Pacers are in the rebuilding phase and the Lakers need shooters and rim. Protectors Turner is a rim protector who can shoot the ball pretty good while Heald is a shooter who can space the floor with his quickness and agility. This might be the speed and shooting Libra needs to win a championship. Also freeing up cap space from Russ's contract since he is the main guy who will find himself in a Pacers uniform. Number three and the most likely to happen, Bradley Beal. Beal would be a perfect fit with the Lakers since he can light a gym up when he touches the basketball. He is also a leader. There is a couple of problems though. I don't know if the Lakers want to deal with Beal's contract. And Beal has no interest on going anywhere except staying with the Wizards. I would take Beal's contract and trade for him if he was interested instead of having to deal with this. Now LeBron, the Lakers down by five. They haven't led in forever. Russ with the left hand can't finish. Well, that's all, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe or your jump shot will look like this. For Russ will pull up. Oh. No, Russ, no. He missed it. Peace out. See ya in the next one.